and what about sex? Because everybody wants to know about sex. Um, I mean, a lot of women ladies either lose interest in sex or they don't feel sexy. Any, all sorts of things go wrong and can happen. And it also, it's very painful as a subject. So do you think that bioidentical hormone therapy can help women you know, with their sex lives, with their sexual experience, to their general feeling of being a natural yeah. woman? Okay, well, first of all, I, I mean, I, I've, I've got to smile because... Um, I mean, there is more sex around in newspapers and in magazines and films than in real life. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just not like that. And actually, the main symptom I have here, more common than hot flushes, mm. is that women, and believe it or not, men also, that they actually complain they have got no libido. No. You know, no, no libido, no desire. And for some, there is definitely desire, but it's too painful because they've got vaginal dryness and, 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 and unfortunately vaginal shrinkage. This is what happens right. because estrogen helps, helps um, uh, the blood circulation, helps the uh, elasticity of, of muscles. So that's huge, hugely important. So there's a group of women who would like to but can't mm -hmm. and it's just not enjoyable. And I do explain to them, well, it's understandable, you have no libido, you're not a set, you know, you're not masochistic, you know. <laughs> why, why would you want to desire it if it's, a, if it's painful? And there are other women who actually have no desire and there's no arousal, you know. And that's very much uh, home, hormone related. So libido and how you feel about yourself and how you feel about your body and if you like yourself is has a lot, a lot to do with hormones. Mm -hmm. and, and you have to start making the, uh, helping the patient feel good about themselves or feel like themselves again. And it all flows back as it should. Mm -hmm.